Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your uh, Huawei tablet. As you can see, it's currently turning on. Uh, and this is the first thing that you need to do. Just press and hold on the power button to turn it on. Now you can select the language. The language selection here is pretty weird. You can just slide across different languages. Mm, maybe I'll lower the brightness a little bit so you can see everything a bit better. Uh, so yeah, this is how you do it. You can see I have English selected. So I'm gonna stick to that and click on get started. Now select the region, then click on continue. Now agree and continue to the EU lay as well as other uh, terms of use. Now you should connect to a network and you cannot skip without it because it's a security thing that has to activate your um, a device. So uh, let's uh, sign in. Okay, I don't get why I needed to like agree to a keyboard, uh, but okay. Uh, let's enter the um, password to the Wi-Fi network and click on connect. Now click on continue, then click on continue and it'll start activating the device. Now you can set up face recognition and lock, sc lock screen password. I'll just set up the lock screen password without the face recognition because I'm not really a big fan of face recognition. Um, so let's go to lock screen password, then click on OK. Uh, that I'll remember it. Yeah, I will. Uh, and yeah, it's very important that there is no way to recover your pin if you forget it. You'll need to erase your whole tablet and then um, You'll still need to verify with your like, like your either, either Google account or the Huawei account. Uh, yeah. So uh, now I'll just enter a pin and make sure that you'll remember it. I'll use anyway. I know that it's a simple pin, but I just I just need it to be that way. Although I'd highly recommend setting it to something that's harder to guess. Now I'll click on set later for the face recognition and I'm gonna skip parental controls. Uh, then I'll continue. Now there we have the Huawei ID and I'll try logging in. And the password as well. Okay, there's some sort of verification code, so I'll just check it and enter it. Yeah, so after clicking on get code here, you can enter it. Uh, okay, I think I already forgot it. I'll try that. Yeah, okay. I remembered. Now I can enable cloud and it'll automatically back up and encrypt my data. Uh, then I can later restore it when either something happens to my device and requires me to factory reset the device or if I get a new device then I can restore it. So I'll enable and continue. Now it's configuring the cloud. It's I think if you don't have any preference about backup then it's worth enabling it so you don't lose your data. I think I'll just like enable everything because why not? Then continue, I agree. And now you can enable find my tablet. And this is a really good feature uh, because when you lose your tablet, you can go to cloud.huawei.com and uh, find your, locate your tablet, reset it or do other things. So it's great. Just remotely, you know, when you lose it. Now let's click on OK. And there will be another question. Huawei in-app purchases. You can add your bank card to be able to like pay for apps in app gallery. I'll click on that later and I actually won't add it. <laughs> um, and then there are some um, customization things 
that uh, I think are worth uh, like reviewing on your own and deciding whether you want to leave them enabled or disabled then go further mm, you can uh, enable some services or no just read it and decide on your own then um, user experience improvement program which will just send uh, like some diagnostic data to Huawei so they know uh, like if there's any issue going on Mm, you can also enable uh, another thing which is gonna improve uh, share analytics but with app developers I'll also enable that you can enable location services and then you can mm, go to data import and you can import it from a different device mm, I actually uh, will set it up as a new device but yeah you can move it from another device restore it from Huawei cloud or set up as a new device I will set up as a new device <coughs> Now there are navigation gestures. I can either learn how to use navigation gestures. I'll explain them in a moment, how to use them, but you can also change navigation methods to free buttons. I'll actually use the gestures and I'll finish. Now you can see my tablet is set up. Yeah, and let's uh, click on try now. And now you can see it works. Now, uh, as I promised, I'll explain the navigation gestures. So sliding up and holding goes to recent apps. So if I open, for example, uh, settings, if I open, uh, let's say the camera app, if I open the themes app, if I open the books and the notes, then I can press and uh, slide up and hold. And I have all the apps now as you saw going to home screen is just sliding up quickly and if you want to go back within some apps like let's say I'll go here and there and there then if I want to go back I can slide from the sides towards the center but don't hold just slide towards the center like that or from the other side now if I slide and hold it opens a toolbar so yeah that's why you shouldn't hold if you want to go back and uh, these are all the things that um, are worth knowing i hope that the video was helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one